I was going to say sun splash as usual. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and look outside again. Might as well look at one of our other beautiful areas, which is Lake Kachuma. And I like the fact that I see a lot of water there. I, I'll go ahead and say, I'm not going to ask where it came from this year, but you know what? It's there, so we'll go ahead and take it. And just a beautiful evening out there. A little bit of haze, of course, really indicative of what uh, the atmosphere doing, which is a lot of moisture in there in the form of marine layers. So in Santa Barbara right now, 63, not overly warm today. And your humidity already at about 70%. Winds coming up out, it looks like, out of the southwest. And you're sunrise and sunset times at the bottom of the screen. Of course, wind advisory for us, just like last night. We might see this come back a few times over the next several days. It's that time of year. And boy, look at all the issues. We have winter issues, wind issues, and unfortunately, a lot of uh, issues with regard to fire season already getting into real full swing here across the desert southwest and those uh, mountain areas of Arizona and, of course, New Mexico. So, boy, here comes our future smoke. Uh, unfortunately, I really don't like this map. I wish we could get rid of it, but you know what? It's just part of our, of our, uh, of our region, and we just have to deal with it. So there's that big fire in New Mexico, north, and I think just east of Santa Fe, and it's um, supposedly, from what I understand, it's um, really blowing up in size. Santa Barbara today, about 70 degrees. Ventura, 63, so cool on the beaches. Ojai, a really nice 76. Same story as you went north and west of Point Conception, a little cool near the coastline, but not that bad. I'd say low to mid 60s and then inland areas hovering near 80 degrees so really looking like a spring type of a typical weather pattern right now a lot of 60s out there a few 50s are popping up on the map and the wind out of the north northwest so it turns a little bit more stronger as you get along the Santa Barbara south coast and of course out toward Point Conception Point Arguello and those canyons can sort of funnel the air down into the canyons if they get squeezed it's sort of uh, like when you put your uh, thumb over a garden hose you narrow the exit and the water has to go that much faster. Well, air does the same things. Fluid dynamics, if you will. And you can see all the humidity values, except for Gaviota, are definitely spiking upward, which means marine layer is definitely flirting out there. And the overall weather picture, we're sort of sandwiched between high and low pressure. So your big area of low pressure up in the Gulf of Alaska, high pressure starting to show that maybe early summer time, time pattern where it sort of takes over this region, giving us some windy conditions, inland areas mostly sunny, and then the fog along the beaches. So we'll go ahead and look at the, uh, the future cast for fog, and there it is right there hovering through the morning hours. Not overly thick. Whenever we get the, the little white spots right here, you can see maybe uh, south of Anacapa. That's when the marine there starts to thicken up above maybe 1,000 to 2,000, even 3,000 feet. And that's when you can start looking for uh, maybe limited clearing and also the possibility of drizzle. But that doesn't look to be the case. Kind of a thin, wispy marine there. At times getting a little thick here and there over the next couple of days. And then probably by about Wednesday, we'll see the marine there maybe back off just a little bit and a slight warming trend will kick in. There's your winds tomorrow morning. Now look how quiet it is, maybe around 10 miles an hour. Then by the afternoon, it starts to kick up again. So another low end wind advisory is possible and probably likely tomorrow night. It's, uh, it's the sundowner season, so we sort of expect it. Your 40s and 50s tomorrow will turn into 60s and 70s, maybe even flirting with an 80 or so out there, uh, depending on how much of that sea breeze can kind of work its way over the foothills and into some of our coastal valleys. Might just stay in the high 70s. And as we head toward Tuesday, looks like we might dip just a tiny bit here and there. But overall, it doesn't look like we see much in the way of any big shocks to the system. So South Coast, we'll go ahead again and call for another beautiful day with 60s to about the low 70s or so as you head out toward the Gaviota Pass. Of course, uh, the wind issue will likely be there again tomorrow night. You go up through the pass and into the, uh, the beautiful areas of uh, San Inez and Buellton. Look at that upper 70s or mid 70s. Just a nice day. Southern Salinas Valley, possibly an 80 and some high 70s expected, 82 or so around California Valley, and then out by the beaches, back into those 60s and low 70s. Down into Ventura County, same story with inland areas around Ojai, up around 80 degrees or at least close to it. The fog near the beaches, otherwise overall just nice and mild. A lot of surf out there, mainly dominant uh, right now is wind swell uh, out of the northwest and some beautiful ocean. Um, I noticed today it was very glassy and pretty in the inner shores, but uh, out as soon as you get out in the outer waters, I should say, it's really bumpy out there, so you want to be careful if you're in any kind of boating interest. And there's your foggy conditions through.
uh, Tuesday and then it looks like it backs off just a little bit as we head into the middle and second half of the work week and as we go toward next week and perhaps we start to swing back the other way so it's that time of year Tracy where we have probably really really quiet weather and of course um, it, you sort of put that next to what's going on in the Midwest and you're just like you know shocked and you see We're so fortunate. thunderstorms and all that yeah. and we need the rain but boy not that kind of rain exactly yeah Coming up, we'll show you a CERT final exam that is still ahead on your News Channel Live at 6.